If you're out shopping for some new music this weekend, perhaps you should invest in an old sound. There's a certain instrument that artists just can't let go of. Ron Tank tells us what it is and gives us a listen. It's a piece of American history, an instrument that has survived nearly 70 years of change in music, a guitar known as a dobro. Back in the 20s, uh, banjos were very popular, and banjos are a very loud instrument. So the dobro resonator guitar was developed back in 1928 as a means to amplify a traditional acoustic guitar. The name comes from its inventors, the Dopier brothers, and this is the second dobro they ever built. It's at the Huntington Beach, California factory where 50 a week are now being turned out. Gibson owns the company now, but the guitars are still made by hand, by guys who don't just build them. It's very much part of the whole unplugged acoustic thing. People are going back to their roots musically. Those roots stretch back to country and bluegrass, music that won a Grammy this year for producer Jerry Douglas. Hank Williams Jr. plays a dobro, but so do rock artists Dire Straits, who put the guitar on the cover of their best-selling album. Just kind of says blues, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Paul Barrere plays lead guitar for the band Little Feet. They're rehearsing for a summer tour and the release of their 13th album, a mix of southern rock, blues, and jazz they call American music. Some of it includes the dobro. When I first started playing guitar, I started listening to a lot of blues records, and I noticed that the guitar sound was, was a lot different than a usual acoustic guitar. Ironically, it's the electric guitar that sounds the most like a dobro. Ironic because electrics nearly made resonators obsolete in the 50s. And while the dobro is experiencing a resurgence, the company isn't resting on its reputation. This particular model is a prototype that we're doing for Jerry Douglas. And Unlike the traditional dobros, this is a solid mahogany instrument. We've also done a few special things on the interior design of the sound well that holds the resonator. But it's the original design that's making all the noise now. They cost anywhere from six dollars to $1,500, though this hand-tooled silver model runs $3,000. A gold version will cost you ten. dollars Whatever the price, they all sound about the same. And that sound, any musician will tell you, is what makes it a dobro. It's a sound that is completely and totally unique. Thanks, CNN Entertainment News, Hollywood. And I have the blues because we're out of time. That's it for this edition of...